Hey guys, it is Walt here at the Vault Pro Scooters, and today I have a special guest doing this custom build with me. Uh, tell them who you are. <laughs> Hi guys, Jake Mom Bartlett here from Sacrifice Scooters, filming here at the Vault doing a custom build. Nice, so uh, we both kind of went half and half on picking the parts. I picked the SCS clamp, the grips, and the fork. Um, grips, the only reason why I picked these because they're like my favorite. SES clamp, it, we haven't used this in a while. It's a Phoenix smooth SES clamp. It fits oversized and standard bars. And then an Apex fork because it matched the bars he picked. Yep. And I've got the Sacrifice blender wheels right here. Um, I've got the Akashi 115 Neochrome deck and the S bar, which is also Sacrifice too. And then obviously your stock standard Sacrifice headset as well. Nice. And then we did both uh, go halves on deciding we should use a clear grip tape for this. And then we're gonna add some stickies onto the deck and then Put place it over. over the top. Um, should we start building, James? All right, good man. Real quick, the deck actually does come with grip tape. As you guys can see that, it's right here. I'm not gonna use it because we're gonna do like our own thing with it. So you don't even need this. Do you want me to do a headset? Sure. Sweet. Never forget the spacer so you don't get head shake. Sweet. Top cap on top. And that's locked in. Ooh, forgot a vault sticker on here. Let's put... Chuck it on. I think overall these parts are going to work 100%. I think the Sacrifice Blender wheels definitely are a wheel to choose as well. Um, for the white and chrome, I think it's gonna bring it out really well. What's that? So it's, it's to get off the, uh, all the air bubbles, but you guys decided to use the uh, smallest wheel. <laughs> I have an idea. Do you want me to give it a shot? Ooh. Get it. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Right. <laughs> Bam, after uh, two years later, I finally finished gripping it. Um, go ahead and get like the last few of these little air bubbles out while I can. If you guys want to be precise with all your little air bubbles, you could sit there for an hour and do it. <laughs> poke not, it out with the Just pin. poke it out and just sit there. So as you can tell, you guys, you already installed everything else. I think we're good on that. Yeah, that's all good. Just got to do. I uh, drop the clamp thing on. Yeah. Oh, I'll do the front wheel. We need like one. Oh, you have them all. Look at that. All right, chuck this front wheel on. So work with me. Yeah, add some grease on these bolts. Sweet. Yeah, add some grease on that thing. So like after you do a Vault Pro Scooters, uh, custom build you made it in scootering. <laughs> Don't worry, the forks aren't going backwards. They're going forwards, I'm just lefty. Who started the trend in Australia to put your forks backwards? Was it Ryan? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I don't know. I think everyone just does their own thing, really. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually tighten the compression finally. Get that on. Most of this video is actually grip tape. <laughs> I think he's done all right with it though, because that's the main thing. Got it, muscles? No muscles, ain't no muscles, all blubber. <laughs> Here, I'll go ahead and let you put the back wheel on. Yeah? It's already facing you. Sweet. And I'll hold it up. You lost the nut. Wouldn't it be a first? I usually just leave the back one, the back washer in, like that. I always do the same way. Is that how you do it? Yeah, but we lost the nut, I see it. I see it. Sweet. Done and done. Ah. Oh, that's cool. So for the back axle, you actually don't even need this. It already like has an integrated like plastic insert. So all you gotta do is literally just put your pinky in there and tighten. Nice. This actually looks really good. Yeah. Do, do sideways. I think we're off to a good start. Uh, we'll get the grips on the bars and put the bars on. And I think we should be done. How do you find it? I like it. That's how we do it. I think it was a good pick. Hope you guys like this too. Definitely worth the build. 
So how you guys do put grips on back home? Just blow? I'm kidding. <laughs> These barns last forever. They're pretty solid. They're not, they're like more plastic than rubber. Yeah, it's like a hard plastic. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All set. Sweet, I need to make Sweet. sure that clamp's straight. I think it is, if I did it right. Yeah, that's good. All straight, I reckon that looks awesome. Um, do you want to do the bars or do you want me to chuck them on? They should, if we did this right. Oh no, we need the shim. Tightener. This thing came out super, it honestly came out better than I thought. I actually really, really like the way this came out. Here, let's turn it around so you guys can actually read the wheels. I was like, oh damn, the bars are on backwards, but then I realized it has a cutout on both it's sides. Insane. That's super sick. How good's that? Awesome, I love it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and uh, go do this drop test real quick for you guys, and then we'll come back and let you know our final thoughts. Nice. How do you think that sounded? I think it was pretty dulled. Yeah, me too. That's good. Um, so your overall thoughts? Honestly, I think this is awesome. I think this is probably one of the best customs that I've seen for a while. I think the color scheme goes together really well. Chrome bars, chrome headset, chrome forks. You can never go wrong with chrome. Or can you go wrong with neo chrome? Black grips, black clamp. I think 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for this and for the white wheels, just goes together really well. What about yourself, what do you think? I love it. Actually, my favorite part is the stickers on the inside of the grip tape. Look at that, you could see them <laughs> and they look straight. I mean, I don't even know what to say about this thing. This thing's actually super sick. I personally ride this myself. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, so do you have any final thoughts, my friend? Not really, no. I think, I think we've done really well, but yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for uh, letting us film this. So thanks to the vault and also a big thanks to Sacrifice Scooters for sending me out here, giving me the opportunity to work with the vault and to tour around um, all the way from Australia. Um, I'm stoked at the overall outcome for this scooter. I reckon it's awesome. All right guys, so please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You, do, you guys already know I say the same thing at the end of every video. You still gotta do it. Like follow me on Instagram and him, his Instagram and whatnot will be down there in the description. Uh, if you want to see anybody else do like a custom build with us or if you want to see somebody do their own let us know because we do read them trust me we do read them but all right thanks again guys and i am out